Alright guys, we got a new project going on today for the graveyard. Uh, we are going to be putting in uh, a guy vomiting um, into the ground. I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of people building those toxic barrels and the skeletons throwing up into the toxic barrels. Well, this is going to be a similar concept, only this time uh, we have our cauldron here um, that glows green and we're going to have a skeleton over here who's vomiting into the ground um, holding a bottle as if he just drank you know just drank the voodoo juice and he's just puking it all back up but instead of going into a toxic barrel we're going to have it going into the ground so you don't see any source of where it's coming from uh, it's just going to be puking constantly out of the skeleton's mouth so first thing that we got to do is get into digging a hole and we're going to put the Lowe's bucket um, down in the hole and I first started off putting some great stuff uh, all along the edges because I don't want dirt going into the water as it'll clog the pump uh, so I created this little barrier up top so we'll, we'll put it down into the hole and then we'll leave this part of the section up over it and you know it, it'll you won't really notice it at all especially at nighttime and it'll give it a nice little barrier around the top of the grass so that uh, you know, kind of get rid of most of the dirt that may slide into the hole um, while this thing's operational. Uh, and of course you got some neon lighters that you're going to need to turn the water uh, a fluorescent green and then you'll need some tubing and then you'll need your, uh, you'll need a pond pump you can pick it up off of Amazon. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first thing we're doing is I'm going to be uh, digging the hole. All right guys, so we got the hole done. We got the Lowe's bucket put in there. We got it pretty close to the ground level here. Yeah, and now the next thing you do. It. Oh, I know, that's a receipt. Yeah, okay. Now the next thing we got to do here is put in the water pump and hose. Next thing I did was I painted the hose black. I do not want to see the fluorescent green running through the tube and through uh, the skeleton. I only want the the fluorescent green coming out of the skeleton's mouth So you don't really know where exactly where it's come from. It just looks like he's puking directly into the ground um, But yeah, so that's what we're, we're at next now. It's time to run the cord uh, up the skeleton Well first we'll get the skeleton in position. What I'm going to use to get the skeleton in position is we're going to use uh, Some PVC we're going to have it turn 90 degrees so we'll hammer it into the ground um, and have it kicked out at a 90 degree angle and then the skeleton we'll have it running up the skeleton's back we'll zip tie it to the skeleton we got the skeleton tied to uh pvc here kicked out at a 90 degree angle and uh got the water the hose coming through his mouth here and uh threw some highlighters in here so at night should turn it all green And uh, I was working on setting up the yard as well while I was doing that. So we got some, some other things here going on with the... This is what the uh, front lawn's looking like right now. So we got our my grave digger here. And uh, I just made, made this one for this year. Little rock and tombstone. Super easy to do. See, all I did was is got a little reindeer motor here, and uh, usually the weight of these tombstones, if you don't have a big one of the, a big board or that's like heavy to, to weigh it down, uh, your tombstone will flip over as it's rocking. I came up with this nice little method here. You just put a whole little PVC so you can have a shorter uh, shorter base. Um, you don't have to have something that extends out, you know, very far. And uh, just put a hole and tap a PVC right through it. And uh, reindeer motor, this little block two by four wood, and uh, this little plate connected to it. Probably took maybe 15 minutes to do. And uh, to connect the wood, I just put a little bit of uh, some great stuff on the back of it, and uh, put the board to it, locked it in place. Um, I can spray the rest of the back of the board here. You can't like, get rid of that white, but so I think it's looking pretty good. I got kind of a small yard. I mean, I definitely got a small yard. My 
space is pretty limited here. Uh, but we got it packed in here. I think it's kind of cool. See what it looks like at night. Uh, I don't know how long it takes for the highlighters to take effect in changing the color of the water to green. I think maybe it shows up more at nighttime when you got your fluorescent light on it. But uh, yeah, so here's what we got going on. And uh, now it's time to set up some, get the lighting going. And uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, I think it took about 20 minutes and the water is officially fluorescent green and it is flowing out of his mouth it looks great i really would like a, a wider spread but um, with the water but unfortunately uh with the water i don't have i got you know the lowe's buckets not much area so if i do a wider spread um coming out of his mouth then i'm losing a lot of water going into the yard uh and so i'm trying to make sure all the water goes back in there and um, we have a, a little leak coming down like right here and uh, that's really what I'm trying to avoid but I mean you know what are you gonna do work with what you got so I think it turned out really good wait till nighttime so we could see once everything's uh, all lit up and glowing and we got some black light on here and shining I think it's gonna look pretty freaking badass so all right uh, we'll be back at night